Box Destroyers, what's going on? Hey, look, in this video, I want to talk about projects and how to break them down into chunks so that you don't get overwhelmed. So a few years ago, I never would have thought that I could have created a Udemy teaching course online or written my own ebook. Now, like the idea of it seems so simple until you actually look at it and trying to do it on top of what you're already doing, like your job or your other businesses or whatever, right? Your family. Now you're thinking, well, when the heck am I going to do this, right? Like, so how's this going to work? So the only way to do it is to break projects down into chunks. So let me take Udemy, for example. If you don't know what that is, it's an online uh, teaching platform where you can take courses from anywhere from like 10 bucks up to $100 where people teach you things. So I want to teach and really turn uh, education upside down on its head. I think it's going to happen anyway over the next five to ten years and I honestly just want to be a part of the revolution. So I've um, completed already a Facebook marketing course and now I've just finished recording as of right now the videos for a uh, top ten methods of online marketing course. Okay, But I have new found respect for anyone that is a Udemy teacher that's created a, like a lot of courses and has thousands of students all across the world. It's really cool um, because it takes a lot of hard work. It takes a lot of dedication and grind to be honest. So so how I would break down Udemy is like what I do is I use a tool called Trello and I just I've come up with course ideas. As they come to me I put them there in Trello right in my tool Trello. So uh, when I come to one that I say, wow, I think I can do that. For example, the marketing course, I was like, man, I have plenty of information for this and, and I think I can really do well. I then start formulating that specific course. So that step two is working on the outline for that specific course. What do I want to look like? How am I going to break down each section when I have this section? Um, let's put the details of that section on there. And I do that on a Google Doc. So you can do that on any document that you want any way that you want that, that that works so you could actually do that on Trello or on a document I use a Google Doc to use that to do that complete outline I had uh, eight or ten pages of notes to outline that course once I was done with that now notice I haven't even said Udemy yet like I'm not even really on the Udemy platform up to now right so and I'm still not so now the next step was to record all of these lessons so video recordings just like this to record those lessons I completed all that and that's you know I don't know 10 or 12 hours of work give or take maybe of time and once I'm done with that then I will go on Udemy upload all those videos which I have just completed I've uploaded the videos but now I need to finalize that course on Udemy so uh, writing copy and I'll need to make an introduction video to tell people why they should take the course etc so that's you to me. I'll give you one other example. And by the way, if you want to see that course, I've got one down below. The Facebook marketing course will be in this video and maybe the other one if I'm complete with it by now, by then. So the other example is I'm working on my second ebook. It's an affiliate marketing ebook. Uh, if you don't know affiliate marketing, it's where you refer people to products and services online. They click, click a link that you provide them and then you, the person that sends the link, it's, uh, gets paid a commission for sending that traffic. So uh, I may even have that done by the time this is this video is published as well, and you can click that below so to get a copy of that ebook. But so to break that into chunks is woo! It's um, that's the only way to do it, right? So me thinking of the project on its own now, if I had nothing else to do, no problem. But we're talking about doing it, like I said, on top of everything else, on top of other business, job, family, obligations, service, etc. That I'm already doing in my daily life, right? So. Step one for that was to confirm the content, right? So know what the ebook is, obviously, that you're going to be writing about. Do the same thing that I did with the Udemy, right? I write the ebook, write the course. So, like, I use, again, Google Docs. Write, I just write it out, write out the information, because what am I going to do? I'm going to have to review it, edit it, get it how I want it. That's going to take a lot of time. There's links in there. I have affiliate links inside of my ebook and other links and I have to make sure that all that's appropriate and correct so I get that done and then after that you need to design and develop that ebook into a downloadable PDF right so now for me that's not my strong suit so I'm able to write the book but to do that part I hired it out so actually I use a website called Fiverr 
uh, and hired a guy. He's made another ebook for me before. He did a great job. So I'm hiring the same individual to do this one. Um, and down below, you can go to my resource pages on my website, and I I link to all this stuff anyway. If you haven't heard of Fiverr, I would highly recommend it. Check it out. I've probably done 20 or 30 projects with uh, individuals all across the world. So now let's say that your strong suit is the design creation of the ebook, but you're not good at the writing part. Well, hire that out. So if you if you have a weakness and you know that it would take you forever or you're just not going to get it done, don't do it. You need to get help in that aspect, right? So I got help in the aspect of designing and developing the actual final product, right? So, and then after that, you have to figure out the distribution and promotion of the ebook. So you have the product, great. And it's still, and that still wasn't easy, right? You still had to break it down into chunks to get there. But so now you have the product. You have to figure out how you're going to distribute it, right? Are you going to, uh, you're going to give it, a, most likely give it away for free, uh, in exchange for like a name and an email. So you just need to figure out how to do that. What service? Do you already have an email service that you're using? You can use uh, GetResponse or MailChimp or countless other services. But so you need to figure out how you're going to do that, where you're going to store that ebook. If you have um, your own website or if you need some assistance with doing that, like those, those small details, um, they all come together and you have to have all of them for the project to work, right? Like if you don't understand that last aspect, you can do the first five steps and get to the point where you have your product. But if you don't understand how you're gonna host the file online and how people are gonna access it once they give you their name and their email and what that path looks like, you can't get to the finish line, right? So it's, it's there is a big understanding to understand the whole picture and you have to have all the pieces. Um, so, but if you don't break that down into individual steps and processes, and it may be that that project takes you six months or maybe even longer to do because you have to break it down into those steps and learn along the way to do certain things, right? So if you have questions about any of that, look, I'm happy to help you, happy to give you feedback, comment down below what your questions are. And I'd be happy to to give you feedback. The point of this channel is to live a life of adventure in both business and life. And I want to invite you guys in on that. So yeah, comment below. I'm happy to help you. If you like the video, hit the like button. Helps out the video. I would appreciate that. And if you want to get more videos from me, just hit the subscribe button. You can also hit the bell notification right after that. So you'll get notified every time a video by me comes out. Look forward to connecting with you next time. See ya.